Hi, so I wanted to see how long a uh, ARB 46 quart refrigerator, this is the Zero series, um, could run on a Goal Zero Yeti 400 lithium battery, um, which I've got going here. Uh, I've got it set at 40 degrees. It fluctuates between 39 and 40 there. Uh, and, and I did cool down the refrigerator through the AC outlet. I didn't really want to test how, uh, how fast, the, you know, or how much battery would use cooling it down. I wanted to see how long I could maintain a temperature just because our plan is to cool it down before we take off or in the Jeep, it'll be powered by the Jeep's alternator. Um, and when we're camping, that's when I want to see how long the fridge will last on this battery. Um, it's about 72 degrees inside and I did put a variety of things inside here just to kind of um, pretend we have food in there because I'm sure that helps keep the temperature down, kind of like having ice blocks in a cooler. Um, and so it's more realistic. Uh, and so right now it's using the battery at a rate of about four to 5% um, every three hours. It's pr pretty consistent, which means that would last 60 hours um, keeping the fridge at 40 degrees, which is really good. It's better than I thought it would be. Um, and if you're camping where it's colder, of course, the fridge won't have to do as much work and it would last longer. Of course, if it's hotter, it would have to run more and you'd get fewer hours. But um, 60 hours is what it's looking like. I'm going to let it run until it is about, you know, until the battery is really low just to make sure it's consistent. Um, but it'll sit there and be idle for a while. Um, if you go to the info area here, you'll see it's 99.9 .9 hours because there's no draw on it right now. The fridge is idle. Um, so I'm really basing it on the percentage of the battery left. When I started, there was 99%. Now there's 95%. Um, so about, it, it may have been closer to 100%, but it showed 99. So I'm going to say, just to be safe, around 5% per three hours. So that calculates out to 60 hours of, of battery. Um, so anyway, the app works okay. Kind of flaky. I had to kill it off and, and restart it before it would see the refrigerator when I scanned the little QR code there. Um, and after that, it, it tends to work pretty well. And you can go in and set your um, different presets. I've got one set at 40 and one at 32. I did also use a, uh, a thermometer, means for measuring air conditioning lines, but it, it's fairly accurate. And um, I stuck the probes inside here and it got down, it showed it was around 42.4, um, but the probes were at the top of the refrigerator. I'm sure down lower it's cooler because cold air sinks. So I think it's the gauge on here is pretty close. Um, and uh, so anyway, it's, it's really super quiet. Um, excited about using it. Of course, another thing is we're going to be charging probably phones and other things through this at night. This won't be the only thing plugged into it. So 60 hours is is more than we'll actually get, I'm sure. Um, but we've got a Renogy panel here that um, it's a 160 watt panel that I plan to power the uh, or charge the, the Yeti during the day. Um, and um, I would have hooked it up today to test it, but they shipped me the wrong cable. Um, uh, so I've got to wait for another cable to get here in a few days to, to see how well it charges it. I went with 160 watts. It's kind of, you know, from a rating perspective, that's a little overkill and technically could put out more than this is supposed to take. But when you read the reviews of these things, they never put out quite what they're rated for. So um, anyway, I, I think you're supposed to have no more than 120 watts going into the, the Yeti 400 lithium. Um, but everything I'm reading shows people are you know, struggling to get 100, 125, something like that. So I think I'm going to be pretty safe just because we're probably hardly ever going to be in perfectly ideal conditions to where that would overload the Yeti. And I, I do have a lower wattage panel if I needed to use that. Um, so anyway, that'll be fun to see how, how much this can, what rate it can charge this compared to what we're drawing here. And if from what I've seen, I think it's going to be fine. I don't think we're going to wish we had a bigger Yeti. Well, you always wish you had a bigger one, <laughs> but I think this one will be sufficient. So. That is all.